Good morning everyone. I'm going to show you today how to make a spring wreath that you can put up indoors. It's very easy to make. You can get the kids to help you with it or you can have a go at it on your own as well. So what you're going to need for it is a A4 sheet of card, some pieces of uh, paper, you need some colouring in pencils or pens, a pencil, scissors, glue, a ribbon or string and some plates and a bowl to colour around and a ruler. Okay, so first of all we're going to start with the base of the wreath. So, your A4 sheet of card, you're going to put a plate that fits inside that the card. So you're going to put it down and you're going to draw around it with your pencil. So then you're going to use a smaller plate or bowl to fit on the inside of that. And you're going to draw around that with your pencil as well. So what you want to do then is you want to cut around the outside circle. Okay, and then you want to cut around the inside circle as well. So you're going to end up with a shape like this here. Okay, so a wee um, point of note here is whenever you're doing your inside circle, just take the uh, pencil and just push it in, and that gives you a sort of a start to get your scissors in. All right, so you can now go round just like so. Okay, so keep going around the circle until you have a shape like this here. Okay, so that's the, the, the base of your wreath. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to make the flowers. So for the flowers, you're going to need a piece of paper. So if you fold it in half, fold it in half again. Sorry, that's how I have a drink. Um, this is the joys of doing things at home when you've got kids, a husband and a dog. So, what you want to do then is you want to measure four by four. Okay, so that's what you want. You want a four by four square. Okay, so. The reason why I've got you to fold the paper means that you don't have to draw out loads of squares. When you cut it out, then you'll have. So again, it's four by four inches. Okay, that's the size of a square that you want to start off with. Okay. So then I just cut down where the folds are of the paper. Now you need seven squares all together, so you might need to fold another sheet of paper to give you the right amount of okay. So now I'm going to show you how to make the flowers. So you're going to take your square of paper. You're going to fold the corners in to make a triangle. Then you're going to fold it again to make another triangle. And then you're going to fold it again to make a third triangle. Okay, so that's three folds all together. So you're left with a small triangle. Okay, so with the point towards you, okay, on the straight edge where your folds are, you keep that the left hand side, the point comes down towards you. You're going to take it and you're going to draw out a petal shape. Okay, so from the corner to the other side, you're kind of making a petal shape. It looks a bit like a nice cream cone, to be honest. 
So, that's what it should look like there. Okay. And when you fold that out, you've got your petal shape. Okay. Alright. So, that last bit is probably the most trickiest part, okay? So, whenever you've done your fold on, make sure the point is towards you, alright? And the bit where the folds are is on this side here. Then you're going to draw the shape of the petal round and then you cut that out. So, you need to do that seven times, alright? So, when you've got that, then it's the easy part comes along because you're going to just really cover that in. So, you can use whatever colour you want. I'm kind of using yellow because it's spring. So it's just a really matter of colouring this in. I'm doing this quite quickly. You can take your time when you're at home. I do use a sheet of paper underneath your colouring in, particularly if you're using plastic pen because I've learned that to the cost. Sometimes you just can't get it out of the tape of underneath, so just use something underneath to colour it in. Okay. Now I'm doing that quite quickly, you take your time at home. It's just to show you what you have to do. Okay. So when you've done that bit, then you are going to take your wreath base, alright, and you're going to stick the flower onto it, okay, so I'm just using a wee bit of glue, just sort of put it in the centre of the flower, just a wee bit of pit stick and I'm using, and then you're going to stick that on. Okay, so it should look like that. And really what you want to do then is you're going to go right round. So each time you cut a flower out, you're going to step it on. And you sort of overlap them a wee bit. Alright, so that's that one done. What you want to do now is the centre of the flower. So we're just taking a, another uh, sheet of paper. You want to use something small. I used a small cell tape for this. So again, you're just going to draw around it. And again, you're going to need seven of those. So again you can fold your sheets of paper which means you're not up cutting out loads. So if I fold up then you will be able to cut out your, your circle. That should give you about seven or eight circles there so that you're not having to cut out each one at a time. So again, take your time and do all this. Okay. So, as you can see, I've cleared a shape. More circles. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to colour that in. Again, you can colour in whatever colour you want. I'm kind of doing like an orange colour, um, so it sort of looks like a daffodil. Then take your time and do that so I'm just doing it quickly. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to just put a wee bit of glue on the back of your flower. And you're going to stick that on the side, that's the centre of the flower, you're going to stick it on the flower. Alright, 
like so. Now, again, just keep going right round with each flower each time until you're left with your wreath. Okay, so what I've also done is I have tied a little bit of ribbon and I've put it on the back of it. I'll just show you how to do that. Doesn't really matter what length uh, of ribbon you have, depends how, how long short you want, but it's like that length there. What's that about? Um, maybe about eight inches or so of ribbon. So you're just going to tie it in round underneath the flower, and that's going to hang it up as well. Okay, so and then that just gives you something to hold up. Now I've also added a few leaves to it that you can do that as well. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if you want to just add a little bit extra to it, that's fine. Just taking a green felt tip pen, just do the shape of a leaf. Now again, you can do these whatever shape you want, but I kind of just do them this way here. Then colour them in. Stick it down, coloured side down, alright, stick it on, and then that's that. So then you can keep doing that. You can add three or four leaves, whatever you want to, whenever you get it finished. And when you're done, you should end up with your wreath looking like this one that you can hang up on the wall. Okay, I write the instructions on uh, paper, and then that will keep you right as well. But hopefully, this is something that you can make at home. Thank you for watching.